Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today, hopefully, I'm gonna be doing a video to walk you through how to use the strength activity on your Garmin Instinct watch. And I say hopefully because this is kind of a tricky video to do. I actually have to be wearing the watch and I have to be doing something with the watch in order for the strength activity to work and show you anything. So first, let me say I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar. It doesn't matter which version Garmin Instinct you've got. They all have the strength activity av available for them. And it also works just like any other activity, but it's kind of like the hunt and fish, fish activity, whereas there's certain things that you have to leave on the activity. I'm gonna show you that now. So we're gonna press the GPS button, just like we're going to do any other activity. And we're looking for one that says strength and it shows a guy lifting weights. Now you might not see it initially, you might have to add it. I don't think it's a default activity that Garmin has uh, viewable for you, but we're gonna press GPS. I will say this, the icon is a guy lifting weights. That's kind of what this activity is for. I know some people have written me before saying that they did push-ups and it didn't read it. It's really more for weight training because it's reading the movement of your watch on your wrist. So when you're doing a push-up, your wrist is kind of staying still. It's not real good for push-ups. We're gonna press GPS and it looks just like any other activity. You'll notice over here there's the uh, up arrow to adjust your activity options. So you can choose whether or not you want the heart rate on. You'll notice in my case, I've turned the GPS off. For weight training, you can disconnect or connect your phone. Where I was saying that it's similar to the hunt and fish activity, is the one thing that you can't change is you have to have reps on your screen and you're gonna have a timer for your reps as well. You're gonna see that here in a second. You'll notice on mine for the number of reps, it's just some dots because we haven't done any reps yet. So I'm gonna press the GPS button just like any other activity to start the activity and it says set number one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a weight and I'm gonna do my first set. Now I'm using an eight pound weight of my wife's just to do a demonstration here and I'm gonna do some curls. So three, four, five, I'm counting six because as you do them, your watch should be counting the number of reps you've done. So I did six, I'm done here. I'm gonna press this button, the back button. You'll notice there's an arrow here. And that says that I'm done with that set and the number of reps. So it says last set, six reps, and it says rest. And then you basically go into a resting period. So you can imagine being at the gym, you've just done the bench press, you've done some curls, you're tired, you're sitting there resting. This is the point in your activity where you're resting. When you're ready to start your next set though, you can press again the same button, the back or set button, and now you're ready for set number two. So I'm gonna do some more curls. Maybe I won't do as many this time. Actually, I'll do a few more. All right, so I did eight. Let's see if it got it. Ah, oh, I did, so it took a second. I was gonna show you when you're done here, if it doesn't count them right, you can press the down button and you can adjust your number of reps. But it did count fine that time. So now again, I go into a resting period. I've done my first set, I've done my second set, now I'm resting, I'm getting ready to start my third set. So my, for my third set, I'm gonna do something different. Instead of doing some curls, I'm gonna try and do, basically I'm gonna simulate a bench press. I'm gonna take the weights and I'm gonna lift them over my head. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to show you that, but I'll try to. So now I'm going to set number three. I'm ready to go. So I'm just lifting the weight above my head. Just straight up. I did it a few times, five times. So now I'm done with that set. I'm in resting, I'm done. I'm done with my weight training. I'm gonna press the GPS button just like any other activity and I'm gonna stop it. And just like any other activity, we can resume it, we can save it, we can discard it or so on and so forth. I'm going to save it. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you on the Garmin Connect app what the strength training does for you. It's kind of like any other activity. It's basically tracking how long were you in the activity and what you do, but it shows some pretty cool graphics of what muscles your body worked out while you were doing that activity. So let's go ahead and go to the Garmin Connect app and we'll look at it. Okay, so now I'm on my cell phone. I'm gonna click on the Garmin Connect app. Now I'm using an Apple phone. It doesn't matter whether you're using an Apple device or an Android device. It's gonna be the same for everybody. You'll notice as I go in under my day, you can see the activity, the strength activity that I just did. Three sets, my average heart rate, and then the number of time, the time that I was actually in the activity. I'm gonna click on the activity 
And where I was saying it's kind of neat is you can see the muscles that I worked out during the given activity. There's a diagram that shows the front of the human body and the back of the human body. You can click on it. Oops, sorry, I don't know how well you're gonna see that. Maybe I'll leave it on this screen. But you can see the primary muscles that were used and the secondary muscles that were used. I can see the number of calories that I burned during the activity, the total time of the activity, my average heart rate for the activity. And if I scroll down, you can actually see what activities I was doing in the weight room based on the movement of my Garmin Instinct watch. So the first set I did curls, second set I did curls, the third set it read bench press because of the way I was moving the weights. Instead of doing curls, I was lifting them above my head. You'll notice that it does keep track of the reps just like we saw in the activity. So the first set had six reps, second set had eight, and then the third set had five. The one thing that it doesn't know is the weight. So you can click on the edit button and you can put in the actual amount of weight you had. So I'm just gonna click on first set, that was eight pounds, second set was eight pounds, and then the third set was eight pounds. If it did miss a uh, set, you can go in and you can add exercise and you can add reps or sets to it if you needed to. I'm gonna click on the back button. I can also add the gym equipment that I used during the uh, strength activity if I wanted to at the bottom. Up at the top, there's also a middle section where you can see kind of the details of the activity, total time, the work time, resting time, so on and so forth. I can also click on the last icon and I can see some more uh, analytics like my heart rate information, temperature information, and then my time and heart rate zones. So it's pretty neat, especially if you're into weight training, or maybe you're trying to work on a specific muscle on your body, and you wanna see if whatever weight training you're doing is hitting that muscle, this is a great tool to use to see what muscles am I actually working out based on how I'm lifting these weights. As always, I hope this video helps. Hopefully it gives you at least a glimpse of what the strength activity does. If you've got any questions, post them in the comments. Hope you have a good day. Thanks.